guys, I'm George Lambert with Mountain Music and Mules. This hunt kind of shows a mistake I made. It's now a nightmare I gotta live with. Like and subscribe, click the notifications, go to mountainmusicmule.com, get some merch. Me and Dad will explain what happens at the very end. Well, I'm headed up this morning to do a little bear hunt. Uh, got the hounds in the truck. I gotta stop, get all their collars and everything put on here just a little bit. Um, kind of taking my time this morning. It's plenty cool. Uh, I think the high is just gonna be in the 60s, and it's yeah, it's 40 degrees now. So uh, beautiful weather. Uh, anyway, hopefully we'll find us a bear here a little bit. Just getting over in the area I want to hunt, so I'm gonna stop, let these dogs out for a few minutes, and get their collars on. Hopefully, we'll find us a bear here in a little bit. So, Get up there. You're doing naughty. None of your eyes are matted up this morning, girl. camera on top of the truck I've got all the dogs collared up I'm gonna ride for a little bit this morning it's up around 8 o'clock in the morning but I'm I'm in no hurry um, it's plenty cool and it's supposed to stay pretty cool all day so I'm just gonna ride for a little bit I don't hit nothing off the road um, meaning if they don't smell a bear um, where he crossed the road earlier then I'm gonna probably just take a little walk somewhere and make a circle or two it's just me today, or 
being scruffy. Basically, I just got planned my walks where I don't, I don't, you know, with the mindset that I don't have anybody to pick me up wherever I come out or anything. So, anyway, I'm gonna head around here, hopefully find a spare here in a bit. If I'm driving, dog strike, and I stop the truck and go to get out and they shut up, that's another, I don't know if you want to call it warning sign or what, but I'll um, be a little apprehensive. Basically, training young dogs to rig um, isn't really, I mean, it, it's, I wouldn't call it hard, but at the same time, you've got to have them in the woods and hunt them a lot to be able to read their body language and try to have an idea of what they're saying, what they're telling. Um, and when they open up on top, you know, the reason behind their opening up. So, and I'm definitely not always right. Sometimes they surprise me, but anyway, I'm gonna keep riding this morning and uh, hopefully we'll get one up and running here in a little bit. That's a pretty good track here, so it's good for these young dogs. Uh, we're starting to get it lined out. And they're getting it up to there now. <coughs> Basically, when I was talking about uh, them dogs rigging, so what, when I let... Dudley and a few others hit that track. I mean, it, and just blew up, and, and I trust them dogs pretty good. And then went, as soon as I got out of the truck, Scruff, Mountain Pice, he hit the track, he hit the scent, and just gone. So, uh, I knew it was a pretty good track. So, I went ahead and put a good mini on it, 
um, just because it was good hot scent. And they're going in, it's going into an area that don't have many roads, so uh, they're sounding good going now. So anyway, we'll see what happens. Kept Dottie in the truck. Uh, just my little, she's a English mix, but looks like a walker. And she's the one in the background having a fit because I didn't turn her loose. And the reason I kept her, she's got a pad that just got healed up. She ripped it about a week ago. And um, she's been on plenty, plenty of races and stuff. And, and maybe, maybe later today I'll turn her loose or something. We'll see. But um, going into this area with not many roads, I decided just to keep her in the truck for now. Dottie, I'm sorry, old girl. I'm sorry, old girl. I know. I know. Well, I'm going to hop in the truck, pull back down the road. Um, get back on the ridge top around here and see a little better. And uh, we'll see what happens. Well, every dog... Uh, Got one that's a little bit behind, but every dog is across the top of the mountain. Um, in some basically roadless country. So I can't, there's no way I can get close to them or anything for a while. Um, unless they come back out of there. So kind of just a waiting game and we'll see what happens. I'm watching them on, yeah, that's what I thought. I was watching them on GPS there and noticed that they all of a sudden slowed down and I think they just treed there. So, dogs are showing in two separate spots. It's probably, most likely it's just a GPS, especially as far as the way I am. It's probably just showing a little different, but I've got a long, 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 long walk. Um, and there is no, no easy way. I reckon I better get my stuff and get to walking. Distance wise, um, it isn't crazy, crazy far, but I do have to cross the whole mountain. So, uh. And I got to basically start at the bottom, pull up, go across, get the dogs, and then I'll have to come right back out. So it's going to take me a while. Sorry, Dottie. You got the bed in the deal, didn't you, girl? Still really chilly this morning. And I'm chilly just standing here like this, but I know the walk I'm getting ready to take, and it is supposed to get up in the 60s today, so. Oh. Definitely I'm not going to be needing this flannel. I think it will leave us long so you're on for a little while there. Alright, <laughs> Well, and it starts. I'm getting on up here, but I think I've made it about halfway or so. And it is steep, really steep. But it'll probably take me a while. Still got basically a bit under half a mile to get to the top of this thing. And uh, if anything, I've been up this many a time, and it, if anything, it just gets steeper the higher we get. So it's going to take me a while. getting up here I'm probably within 150 yards of the top I think I'm just starting to hear the echo of them coming across the top of this thing uh, and GPS finally picked them back up well I just looked at the GPS and uh, yeah, they're not too far off. I'm all missed it up this thing, but uh, I noticed I was showing earlier uh, two of my dogs was treated a little different, and could have possibly been a GPS malfunction or a you know satellite reading was off a of touch. But uh, whatever the case, they're showing with the other dogs now. So 
I'll make it a little bit easier on me. Should hear the dog's good in just a second. I'm topping out on this ridge now. It is windy up here. Oh. Uh, but I'm on the downhill side now, so. Yeah, I'm on the downhill side and uh, not too far away. Just a small precaution that a lot of times I do when I'm hunting by myself in this crazy terrain, especially when I'm in big country like this. Uh, I like to stay on the downward side when I'm coming into a tree. And I also, I like, I prefer, I'm gonna circle just a little bit below these dogs. But I like um, coming in, going uphill. I wanna come uphill, uh, like I wanna be climbing to the tree basically. And a lot of times I've noticed if a bear's a little, uh, a lot of times the bear will set better. It'll give me a chance to tie the dogs back. Uh, that way if he comes out, he can just go one. All right, I'm kind of just angling in sideways to this bear. He's wanting to come out.
Crew wound up so, uh, I was just standing back a little ways away from the crew and uh, I was coming back down to get another leech strap of dogs and um, she bailed out. I let him calm down a little bit and then back to the truck. If you want to see more of this stuff hit the like hit the subscribe. So I've got a lot of other hunts uh, that I've been on and coming up and uh, try to hunt a few days a week. So Anyway. Yep. Yeah, a little bit of brushing stuff. Got these dogs calmed down back loose. Come on. Nope. Jeez, come on. Chief, come on. The dogs. Well, I just top back out, get ready to drop down to the truck so stop and take a minute to breathe and get my leads put away once I get down off of this top where these dogs can't win that bear so heavy. they're just itching to go back uh, anyway come on chief Woo! come on come on chief alright that should be alright taking a minute now Y'all wait on me. Let's go. Mm. All right. So basically, I've got everything packed up, put away for his camera gear and lead straps and all that good stuff. And uh, for now, ready just drop to the truck. It's not a terrible long ways, but it's steep. It's the same thing that I climbed back. Same thing that I climbed up. I'm getting ready to drop off of, so. Anyway. Alright guys, as I'm walking out, I'll kind of explain what happened and what I did wrong. Um, it's kind of a personal rule. Anytime we get into a treed bear, the first thing we do immediately is tie the dogs back. I should have been a little bit more aware of what coulda and then about did happen with Scruff. And uh, just because the way he was acting and the way that fork was, looking back I should have tied him right back with the big dogs but anyway thank goodness it turned out the way it did so actually in real time I didn't even at the time didn't even know exactly what all had happened until I was going back and reviewing the footage thank y'all for watching hit the like hit the subscribe uh, do everything Easton said and Scruff almost got killed the tree was almost as big as this one bear came down and it was about like this tall and it split uh, it's like that tree right there. When it split like that. But um, the bear jerked Scruffy's collar. Like and subscribe, click the notifications, leave me and Dad a comment, and make sure you go to mountainmuscamino.com to get some good merch. You can get all kinds of stuff. This is the end. <laughs>